Anyway, <clears throat> next is Dean Malenko undergoes successful surgery. So Jim Ross recently made mention on his podcast that Dean Malenko recently had brain surgery to help improve his day-to-day life. I saw Dean Malenko, uh, says Jim Ross, Malenko's had some health issues. I saw him there. And he had brain surgery and it stops his shakes from the Parkinson's and it has. He's had surgery. He's such a sweetheart of a guy. Now, was Dean Malenko one of the agents producers while you were at WWE in the uh, in the Zeb Coulter run? Yes, he was. He was there. And he uh, I saw him about, I don't know, four years ago. I was on a plane going somewhere out of Tampa. We are going to Atlanta. That's where I saw him. And I talked to him a minute, and his hand was... I didn't say anything to him about it, but it's, he showed the signs of Parkinson's. And then after the trip was over, I asked somebody that knew him, I said, does Dean have, does it Dean have Parkinson's? And they said, yeah. So I'm glad that he had the surgery to keep him from shaking. You know who else has Parkinson's I hear okay. is Carlos Colon. I saw him and I saw him in a video and his hand was shaking. So, and I, I think I confirmed it with one of his sons. So, and what do they do when they have the surgery, when they do brain surgery? What do they do? You're asking me what the process of the brain surgery was. I've, I've absolutely no idea. I mean, it's just to alleviate, I imagine, uh, the shaking and Parkinson's also gives you slow movement and stiff and inflexible muscles. So I believe he's gone through this procedure to improve the quality of his life, essentially, so he can get around a bit better. But, uh, yeah, it's a hatefully horrible uh, condition to have to deal with. Yeah, so much luck to you, Mr. Malenko. He was always good to me. But I like the way Dean used to give finishes. He'd go in, he'd give the finish, and he'd say, got it? We got it. Okay. I said, I'll be back and see what you got. He'd come back about an hour later. What you got? That sounds good to me. How long are you going? <laughs> and all he wanted to know was anything the camera needs to focus on or anything. It's just a straight up finish anyway. Anything complicated, I never remember that uh, that he had. But the simple stuff they would give to, to Dean because he wouldn't have to go into detail a lot. Dean was a great worker, but that was about where his he had a lot of talent in the actual wrestling, but not a lot of talent in the in the talking, and not a lot of actually in the personality department. Because Dean, when he looks at you, he would say, "This is what he say. It's very hot outside today." Well, you got the message, but there was no inflection in his voice or anything. And I don't know. And this was, I don't know, maybe when I was there the first time. But uh, he he was very good at trying to get these guys to work and finding out what they were going to do. And, of course, when the match was going on, he'd go put the headsets on. He'd sit down at the, uh, at the announce table or in back in the to-go area. And he'd tell the cameraman, or the, he would tell Kevin Dunn what's coming up next. So that's how they do it. But hope, uh, hope Dean's okay. 